Book report time with Eric. We're going to talk about whatever this is. Oh, the Illuminatus trilogy. Uh, this was introduced to me in the early 90s by my good friend Jeff. Oh, what, what, a, what a great thing to be introduced to. So this book is insane. I don't even know how to describe it because it's basically a really long acid trip of, of insanity. Um, yeah, so yeah, the trilogy is uh, the, eye of the, the Eye in the Pyramid, the Golden Apple, and Leviathan. And um, let me, all right, first of all, let's see how the back of the book presents itself. Okay. <laughs> um, it was a deadly mistake. Joseph Malik, editor of a radical magazine, had snooped into rumors into an uh, had snooped into rumors about an ancient secret society that was still alive and kicking. Now his offices have been bombed, he's missing, and the case has landed in the lap of a tough, cynical, streetwise New York detective. Saul Goodman. Hey, wait a minute. That's Saul Saul Goodman. Better call Saul. But as a matter of fact, wait a second here. And it's Saul Goodman. Yeah. Now that's a coincidence. There you go. So, uh, <clears throat> Filled with sex and violence, in and out of time and space, the three books of the Illuminatus trilogy are only partly works of the imagination. They tackle all the cover-ups of our time, from who really shot the Kennedys, to why there's a pyramid on the one dollar bill, and suggest a mind-blowing truth. Now, that presents itself as if this is a serious book about serious conspiracies and so on. And it... Not really. <laughs> The book is really wacky and really zany, and it takes all these insane conspiracy theories and this idea of, like, the Illuminati secretly ruling the world and, you know, like, the assassination of JFK and Atlantis and all this stuff, and it's sticks, Everything. it sticks it into this insane blender of, like, drug trips and conspiracies and, and, and terrorism and all this stuff into, like, this... I, 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 into this really strange ride. But it's entertaining... The entire time huh. through. It's pretty thick. Well, that's a trilogy, right? Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a trilogy okay. all, 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 all in one. And it's really now. I have to admit, I haven't read it in years. Right. It's, it's been it's been a long while. So what I would think about it today, I don't know. But I've read it like I think three times. So you know, clearly, if you've read it three times, yeah. look. And there's some weird. Oh, that's funny. That yes. Yeah. Some sort of. I mean, I I I, I would say like. Take Kurt Vonnegut, dose him up with more acid than a human being can handle, send him on a road trip with Jack Kerouac, and then plunge them into into like a, a science fiction conspiracy story written by Philip K. Dick and make it the length of the Lord of the Rings. And that's <laughs> Jesus. That's this. <laughs> but the narrative is not particularly important and there's there there are times when it veers off the rails and goes into like these these side things, these these side tangents that have not much to do with what had been been uh, been, been going on. And who wrote it? Uh, Robert Shea and Robert Anton Wilson. Robert, okay. An I, I'm not familiar with Robert Shea's other work, but I have read some other stuff by um, by Robert Anton Wilson, including a, a sort of a unofficial sequel to this. Um, I think it was was it Mask of the Illuminati? I'd have to go in the back and, and, okay. and, and pluck some of the other ones out. As a matter of fact, let me do that real quick. Hi, hi, hi everybody. I'm I'm back. Um, just head to the library. I went, I, I went all the way to the library. You went all the way to the library. I don't so, want to sit here for two hours. So uh, uh, Robert Anton Wilson on his own also wrote The uh, Masks of the Illuminati. And this one is uh, One Fateful Evening in a Suitably Dark Beer-Soaked Swiss uh, uh, Rathskeller. A wild and obscure Irishman named James Joyce would become the drinking partner of an unknown physics professor called Albert Einstein. And then uh, Sch the Schrodinger's Cat Trilogy, also by him. Uh, take a quantum leap into the universe of Schrodinger's Cat Trilogy. It's a wise and wacky look at our recent past uh, seen through a funhouse mirror. It's satire on our violent, inexplicable, wonderful world, and it's a mind trip inward to expose our deepest hopes and fears. So, so yeah, so he does zany, weird, yeah, drug seriously. trip stuff. stuff. And, and yeah, for, for, for time in my, uh, in, in my early 20s. What is this that's in there? Oh, look! It's a VHS cassette tape. It's a, a label. <laughs> Is it Betamax or is it VHS? It's here? VHS. That's how old the book is. Yeah, that that's my that's the bookmark that I, <laughs> that, I that I had in there. Yeah, I actually remember like Mask of the Illuminati uh, very much, but these I've only read one each. This, like I said, I read this one three times, all within a space of a couple of years. So I kept going back to it, and it's like pretty mind blowingly weird and and enjoyable. So if that all that sounds interesting up your alley, yeah, you should check it out. That's, that's, that's the end of the thing. Oh, X-Files. All right, I got to bring these back to the library. Uh, Tig's going to sit here for a while. Just, uh, just, just, 
Just make sure that uh, you poop in the bucket. I'll poop in the bucket.